This is DJ's Off-Road Adventures. DJ Faces His Fear. Story by David McBee. Illustrations by Floyd Leroy. Narrated by David McBee. DJ was built for the street, but for many years, he dreamed of leaving the pavement behind and going off-road. I may be a cruiser, but someday I'll be an off-roader. This was the big day. DJ got the parts he needed, including steel bumpers, tow hooks, and big tires. He was ready to hit the trails. That's when DJ ran into some big off-roaders who weren't very nice. You think you're a rock crawler? You look more like a mall crawler. You'll never get those pretty wheels dirty. Look at this guy. Pretending to be an off-roader. Were the bullies right? Even though DJ always dreamed of wheeling, he was really scared. He heard of off-roaders getting stuck in the mud, breaking down and getting stranded, even rolling over. The next day at the park, DJ met some more off-roaders. He thought they might make fun of him too, but they surprised him with their kindness. Sweet wheels, are those custom? Hi, I'm Desi. You have a nice smile. Dude, let's all go get ice cream. Hooper, the leader of the group, invited DJ to go off-roading. Then Dave and Desi offered some words of encouragement. You should come wheeling with us in Moab, Utah. It's like a big off-road playground. But I don't have any experience. DJ was anxious and scared about going off-road, but agreed to think about it. No worries. If you break anything, I'll fix you up. Come with us, DJ. Let's get some dirt on those pretty wheels. That night, DJ remembered his fear of mountain roads and the time he had a panic attack when he was young. He was thinking about not going to Moab with his friends when he remembered something his dad told him. Courage doesn't mean you're not afraid. It means you don't let fear stop you. When they arrived in Moab, the entrance to the trail was scary. With big rocks all around and steep drops on both sides, DJ started up the trail. At a really spooky part of the trail, DJ began to panic. He froze in his tracks. He couldn't go forward, and he couldn't go back. Wow, this is terrifying. I don't know if I can do this. I'm kind of freaking out. That's when DJ's friends came to his rescue. With their encouragement and optimism, he was able to keep moving forward. Just put your tires where I put mine and you'll be fine. Be brave, DJ. You can do this. We believe in you. I've got your back. I won't let anything happen to you. Thanks, guys. You're right. I got this. Later on the trail, DJ looked over the edge and saw it was a long way to the bottom. He took a deep breath, went nice and slow, and faced his biggest fear. The more he climbed, the scarier it got. But instead of thinking about his fear, DJ focused on the beauty around him and how much fun he was having with his new friends. I won't let fear keep me from achieving my goals. Now I'm a real off-roader. After a full day of wheeling, DJ made it to the top of the world. It was the most beautiful thing he had ever seen. His new friends gathered around and cheered him for overcoming his fear. You faced your fears, DJ. We're so proud of you. To celebrate your success, we have something for you. That's when Hooper awarded DJ with an off-roader badge of courage. 
You might think that this was the end of DJ's off-road adventure, but it was really just the beginning. The next time he and his friends hit the trails, it was DJ who was encouraging. Don't be nervous, Zoe. Just put your tires where I put mine and you'll be fine. The end of this adventure, but just the beginning for DJ. DJ's Off-Road Adventures, DJ Faces His Fear, is available on Amazon. Thank you for supporting indie authors and illustrators. 